this is yet another plug points into equations question. Right now, this time we have a bunch of points. That's what those charts are in the choices. And we have one equation and technically it's not even an equation, it's an inequality, but none of this matters, right? So the point is I would look at this, I'd be like, oh, I've got some sort of equation. I've got some points I can plug in. Let's just get to it, right? Let's see what happens instead of trying to like logically think this through. So if we zoom in just on choice A, we are given these X's and Y's. Let's just try the simplest one. So if we did 20, that's our Y and then there's less than six times three plus two. Well, you could use your calculator or six times three is 18 plus two is 20. So this is not true. So this is kind of maybe testing the idea of the inequality symbols, right? This is the less than symbol, not the less than or equal to symbol, right? So this does not include the number 20. If it was less than or equal to, we'd be good. But here, this point doesn't work. So if I scroll down, I'm kind of looking like, do they repeat things? Well, they repeat the three. So I don't even need to kind of like calculate this side of the equation again, right? The only part that's gonna change if I keep doing that same point is the, the left side, the Y side. So let's just write that out. B would be 16 is less than 20, that's true. Uh, same thing here, 16 less than 20, so that's true. And then here we would have uh, 24 is less than 20, right? So the Y is on the left, and so that's, that's also false. So I kind of figured that was gonna happen, that we'd have two that worked on the first point, but that's okay, that's why we try every choice. And now it's pretty simple, let's just do the next point, right? So we still have this inequality. Uh, the five part is different, so let's just do that. So 36 is the Y is less than six times five plus two. So okay, 36 is less than six plus five, uh, or 36 is less than 30 plus two is 32, that, that works out. Um, in this case, I would still, uh, I wouldn't pick B quite yet, I would need to look at C because it's possible that it, you know, there's multiple things that work here and I'd rather do less math. So that means let's repeat the five. So the 28 is now the Y and six times five plus two is still 32. Oh, wow, see, this is why you show the work. As I just realized, no, of course this doesn't work. 36 is not less than 32. In my head, I was flipping it. But 28 is less than 32, so C is the answer. Um, yeah, I'm glad I kind of almost made that mistake there. Uh, it just goes to show why you want to write things on your scrap paper, is when you're taking this test, especially the math section, which is the second section, right? You're gonna be tired, you're gonna be halfway through, uh, you're gonna be stressed. Sometimes you just, you say one thing, you read it differently, you write the wrong number, whatever. And every time we write something else down, every time we try some other choice, we are kind of giving our brain another opportunity to catch a mistake. I do this all the time. This is my job is taking SATs and I never, ever, ever get math questions wrong. Reading occasionally but never get math questions wrong. That's not because I don't make silly mistakes like this. I make them all the time, but I've built all these processes into my overall strategy that let me catch those mistakes in the moment. So don't be afraid of the careless mistake. As long as you've got a way to catch it, you're good. So showing work, kind of talking through in your head, these are all ways to notice when you've made a mistake. And I did not I did something really smart. I didn't mean to make this careless mistake. This is pure accident. I'm gonna keep it in this video just to make a point is, I didn't just pick B when it worked. I continued on and I tested C and because I saw that C was actually what I wanted, I was able to notice that I had made a mistake in B. So give your brain more opportunities to catch mistakes and you'll make fewer mistakes.